Well, nobody is showing up for class here at Liberty North High School, nor at any other school in this Northland district, nor at any other school on the Missouri side of the state line until late April at the earliest. But today, Liberty schools begin what it calls extended learning. Teachers are putting lessons up online, students working from home, in most cases on school issued laptops and other devices. Now, Liberty's not alone in this. There are a lot of schools across Missouri doing this, certainly not alone up here in the Northland too. North Kansas City schools, Park Hill schools doing the same thing. And like the Liberty kids, they're all coming off of spring break to dive into this. Now, this is a certainly a different way to go. So educators have a few tips for students to help uh, keep them on the straight and narrow with this new line of work. First off, parents, guardians, we need to remind our kids that they need to budget their time correctly, manage it wisely, get your work done. You should also stay connected with your teachers. Usually email is going to be the best way to do this. It's a confusing time, so if you have questions about your assignments, things like that, ask those questions. The teachers have a lot of questions too. They want to help you through this. Take some breaks for yourself during the day, kids, but also you need to limit distractions at home. Find a quiet place to get that work done and maybe lay off the social media as best you can until all the school work is done. Also important all this is establishing a new routine for this new situation. The old routine of getting the kids out of bed, feeding them breakfast, getting them out to the bus. That's not going to be around for many, many weeks. So establishing a new routine, very key to finding our way through this new and different time. Reporting from Liberty, Martin Augustine, KBC 9.